tell video guys I would love to tell you how much I appreciate it that my last video just blew up every single one of you that liked viewed and subscribed even absolutely thank you you guys are so fucking good um, and I will do my absolute best to make every one of you happy with the content and the decks okay um, so yeah thank you for that I really appreciate it and I'll be sure to keep going with this content just so you know I will be uploading every Monday Wednesday and Saturday from now on so um, yeah stay tuned for that and cheers and have a good one with this video good luck how's going everyone my name is Rose Guy and I will be showing off this new V deck um, it's got a review in the blade but it's alright so I'll explain this deck real quick and then we'll show off some gameplay um, so the main key on this card is that you get a lot of energy on it obviously its attack costs one oh no two uh, psychic energies uh, called X ball it does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon so that's really good but it also has a really really nice partner called Starmie this Starmie here is just the absolute perfect card for this deck um, so it costs one um, colorless energy strange wave this 40 damage which is also really nice um, Search attack for up to 3 uh, in any combination water or psychic energy cards and attach them to one of your uh, po benched Pokemon. So what this does is just charge up your attack, but it also um, like thins out your deck so you get better pulls next turn. So it's a win-win. <laughs> um, um, the key here is actually just to get two um, use in play and attach to both. Um, you can't, you have to attach to one of course, but if they see that you have a charged Mew, then we'll just, they will just gust it out and kill it, you know? But that's why you need two, to have like a backup and charge that uh, second as well with your hands. Only go all out when you see that you can do it and make it uh, with the Mew. Only go all out on one Mew that's in the active spot to kill someone because you see you can make it, okay? So be careful of where you put your energies. Um, in this deck, okay? One Necrozma, um, just uh, as an anti decidui card, because um, otherwise this deck is toast. Uh, there's one Crobat V, uh, extra uh, draw. Energy switches to get that star meets energy back on one of your Mews, because it has free retreat, just like your Mew V. You can see this is a good, good, good combo. Um, you have two evolution incense, three quick balls, one stool, two crapper, stool, <laughs> two scrapper. Oh god! Um, then one, uh, four turbo patches. Um, yeah, just very obvious. Um, then two giant halves, one Brock's grit, two greens exploration to get this Starmie as, uh, in play as quickly as possible, because you want this to be your first attacker. Uh, if not, you'll be fine with this to start off. Um, it will accelerate as the match goes. But it's just very good to stop off with that. Um, but yeah, be careful with the greens and the Crobat. If you play the Crobat, you can't play your greens. So just keep that in mind when you play this deck. Uh, then three Marnies and uh, three Welders with three Cape of Toughness to get this Mew to 230 HP or this Necrozma to 180. Um, a really, really useful card. Has helped me out a lot because it makes you out of range for like an ADP. So, you can see it, it works, because otherwise you would be one shot by just an ADP, and that's really sad if that happens. Um, you have two capture energies, and one weakest guard, and then nine copies of your fire, and eleven of the psychic. Um, so this was the deck list, um, I explained it really quickly, I hope it was clear enough for you guys, uh, and now I uh, will show off some gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so our first match against some kind of fire deck, it seems. Now this is gonna be interesting. Because fire decks mostly get a lot of energies on their Pokemon. Even though they discard most of it after they attack, but that's alright. Oh god, okay. We start off with our only Crobat V. So that's already unfortunate. Um, but we got a fully charged welder and a capture energy and an evolution instant incense so we can actually get our stuff into play very early 
just very unfortunate about this scrub happy. It's like a wasted card now. Very, very sad. <sighs> I'm so tired, man. For some reason. For some reason, I'm tired. Alright. Let's get this match started. Okay, and he starts off with a Chirachi, which is a nice start. A nice hollow as well, wow. These are some good, good vibes. I like him. So, what is it gonna do? I'm very, very curious. Would it be like a Reshizard or like a Blacephalon or... And now the goes bye-bye, so yes. All these great supporter cards. Oh, and Senti Scorch. Now this is just a perfect ma perfect matchup for our Mew V. Because <laughs> like, they have to attach so many energies to even get a kill. So that would be per perfect for me then. I don't even have to attach any extra energies to my Mew. Which I will obviously do. But I don't need that much. Like I would normally. As much. Like I would normally. That's what I meant. <laughs> The good thing about these like special energies like these, you can use them to retreat anyway, so. Okay, still have them. And a quick ball, so we can uh, get other things in play. Again. Two quick balls. Okay, this is perfect. This is really, really nice. So what I will do is discard this energy to get a Starmie. And I will do the same... Oh, uh, actually, I, I, no, I shouldn't. No, 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 actually, it's alright. Yep. So, bye, Brock. Sorry, mate, I can't use you now. You're in my way. And see, uh, if I if I Crobat was still in the deck, then I could just play every card here, and then use that down Crobat. But, you know, something had to come between it. Okay, so our capture energy will bring us another Mew V. And we're gonna put this on one of us. On one of them. Yep. And let's hope we pull something okay. Because yeah, I couldn't do anything else about pulling. That would be very unfortunate. So he already has two special heat energies. So he has. Like <laughs> 390 HP. Good lord, that's 30 and that's then 40 in total. Oof. So now he's gonna do 40 plus 40 plus 40. <laughs> so that means 120. But he's gonna use a welder and then he got a knockout. That's probably what's gonna happen. Oh no, 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 he used a prof. He used a prof. He can't use a welder now. Yeah, yeah. We're safe, we're safe. Oh, oh, no, this is good. This is good news. Um, let's just hope he can't do a thing with the other things. Let's just really hope he can't like use a boss's order or whatever, or anything else. Oh, please, Lord, don't make it happen. And even even he uses a boss's order, he needs to attach something else. Because now he does. Uh, 100 80, no, no, 160. Okay, I can't, he can't, he, it doesn't use a boss's order. So that means this boy is dead. Because this is 150, and then this is 90. Oh no, never mind, he's gonna disc discard energies. Wow. Wow, oh my god. Now that's pretty smart to use this actually. Well, he can't use a well the next turn, which is really sad. Oh man, that bastard! Fuck! Why does he do this? Shit! This is really not nice. No, no, no. We have a tool scrapper, which is alright, I guess. But we can't do anything else. We have a dead hand, like a really, really empty hand. He's <laughs> probably, he probably has another welder or something. So now we're in the range of wait. 
so we have 40, 40, 40 so 40, okay, that's 200. It is 200 now, it doesn't anymore. He did heal up though. God damn, why? Why does the deck run this? It doesn't make any sense. It's like a perfect counter for me. <laughs> jeez, man, jeez. What a bastard. Ah, oh, that, that, that hurts. Oof. Okay, okay. If he didn't have that, then this this anti scorch would be, have been dead already. Damn, man. I don't think I've ever actually seen a anti scorch like that before with a hyper potion. Stupid hyper potion. <sighs> Please let it be. Make it happen. <gasps> Good lord! Wow. Wait, what? No, no. Oh my god, this is so dead. God damn it. Well, at least I can try to paralyze this boy. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get another one of these. And just so we don't pull it up from the top of the deck. And if they, and even if they use a Marnie to, uh, to get this, uh, like away from me, then I'll be fine. I get more cards then. Um, and I can use this next turn to use for my welder. Okay, let's just try to get a paralyze on this boy. Oh, yeah, this 20 damage. <laughs> Weakness, wow. And it's a paralyze, yeah. Let's see what it does now. Probably Mellow and Lana or something like that. Okay, he has another Santi Scorch in play. Boss's order, what? Everything has a free retreat. I wonder what he's gonna do. Oh, it did that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. What is his plan? Epic, okay, this is really nice. So, the plan is now... We get two energies here. And we're gonna attach three on this one. Even though this actually no, that won't work. Let's just hope we pull a uh, psychic energy now. Okay, we do, we do. It wouldn't do an F. I'm pretty certain that they can knock me out next turn. But yeah, I don't really have a choice. If I put this here, then it will definitely be a knockout. And then I don't kill this one either. So I think I think this is the best option. I'm really happy that I paralyzed pulled off though. Because now I have an extra prize card. So I, if he doesn't boss any of my normal Pokemon there then I'll be fine this, this doesn't switch yeah it only switches basic so yeah normally I would be able to get more damage now with this from here to there but yeah I had to do this otherwise I had like a really brick start he only attaches one energy with this now this is good news so I can get a lot of energy on this one I wonder if he's gonna evolve this one already. If he does, that would that would be very nice for me. But I think he's gonna try to burn train me, burning train me. Oh, he's gonna do a heat run. Nah, okay. <sighs> Why don't I run boss's order? Run boss's order. If I did, then I, this would be dead now. Pretty sure of that. But now we'll attach to this one. Well, I, if I kill this one, then he has to evolve it, right? So this is 90, so that would be enough already. 
Yeah, because it's 70 minus 20, so that means that, yeah, I can even kill it with the resistance. So, what I'm gonna do is... I put one of the energies there. Or not. Or not. We'll see, we'll see. You can, you can see I can use the green to, like, discard, because I don't have to worry about anything else. So that would be 90 there. We'll see what happens with this one. Ooh, nice. Very nice. So we have a fully charged Mew now. Mew V again. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna put this there. Get the knockout. So we'll see what happens. If I really need the extra energy, I will just switch it out. If not, then alright. Then that's game. Probably. We'll see what happens. I hope he has that hand or something. Okay, Heatran, Heatran. Interesting. He can't knock me out if he has three energies on this with the burning. Oh, with hot, with hot burn. Perhaps he's trying to stall me down because this one has no energy there. But that's all right, actually. This is already under 50. So all I need is two more energy there. So that means I need a welder. Ah, that's sad. But then what I can do is just get damage going with this one. Get extra energies on this one. And then we have two full charge Mews. But, yeah. He doesn't do a thing. Okay, this is... <gasps> okay, it's game. Wow, okay, that was an amazing top deck, and now that's game. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate. So yeah, he tried to stall me down. That didn't work. Oh yeah, and I forgot about this. This could be also a way to get your last energy that's needed on your Pokemon. Well played, and you have a good deck. Alright, that's a first win for our Mew V. Really nice, really nice. So as you can see, it worked out perfectly. We did enough damage. We did more damage than the Scented Scorch. Because it was um, discarding its energies with the Hyper Potion. Even with that Hyper Potion, I still managed to win. So as you can see, this Mew can actually kill things without that energy on. Even, um, I had one match with a Regisaur, and he put at like his last Regisaur without any energies there on the active spot. And I only missed like 20 damage or something like that to kill him. It was insane. Like really. All that energy was attached to one Mew. I, I used an energy switch, I used the turbo patches, I used the welder, I used everything I could. And I got so close. <laughs> I put it all on the already charged Mew, of course. I did flip four hats though, and that was a really, really big help. In the start, in the end, it wasn't really necessary. But that was pretty nice. Alright. Next match. Ooh, a dragon box. Okay. You don't see those often nowadays. Which is quite sad, because I, I love dragons, like the dragon type, because it uses multiple kind of energies, it's just very unique in its own way. So uh, yeah, I actually did enjoy dragons. Imagine a dragon V. <laughs> Would be cool, right? Oh wait, actually that was a dumb play of mine, because... Yeah, this one, the, the chance of this getting knocked out is way higher than this one, you know? And if I get this involved, then I'll just retreat it, you know? But it doesn't seem like it's gonna have an explosive start. Okay, so I got a hats. Got a stadium. Why does it seem like this is something special? <laughs> It's a weird match, wow. 
Um. So okay, let's let's just get started with that damage. Um. What I'm gonna do now is um get myself the stadium. I got a welder, and I'm gonna get. This one, this one as well. So let's first do this. Discard this one. In case uh, if I need it, then yeah, that's sad. But I will use this later. So let's go. Let get. Let's get our second Mew. All right. Epic. So now this will knock not knock me out if it gets a. Uh... Oh, no no no! Double energies doesn't don't exist anymore in, in standard. I forgot. I actually forgot. <laughs> Cause it's not a twin energy and you can't use that on a V or a GX. That's a pretty big hand, wow. Okay, okay, um, so I do 150 here. No, 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 <laughs> uh, 90 here. So in total 150 now. So what I should do is just knock it out. <laughs> yeah, seems like a plan. Okay, wait, let me do this first. To get like the, the, the other one. So why not? Um, and then I'm gonna discard this fire energy to get two. I probably confused him by now. Hmm. Ugh, why not? I was thinking maybe I should attach it there, but. No way he's gonna get it, it's charged in like next turn. There's just no way. Okay, we are set for next turn if he doesn't money. My god, I love this cave of toughness. Like this extra HP is just Okay, okay, that was a quick match. <laughs> Well, that's... I, I don't know what his deck is about. Let's see. It was a Porygon? <laughs> wow, okay. But why do you run 1-1-1? One, one, one? Now, that's weird. Yeah. Definitely, this person is something like a starter, but... I feel like he has potential, of course. So, he, he only ran 2, and he started with 2. Man, I love this card. It looks so good. Uh... So yeah, it was completely like a dragon with Porygon for some reason, but only a 1-1-1 one, one, one line, which is not so not good to have, especially if you have like, all these cards to help you get these Pokemon. Oh, full art boss boss's order. Okay, okay. Ah, yes, I see why now. Okay, that seems like a good deck, yeah, but I don't see the necessary needs for these NDDs. But okay, yeah. I can see what, why, what you're doing, yeah. Cheers. So guys, this was the Mew V deck. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want more content of this. Um, now I will be uploading every Monday, Wednesday and every Saturday. Um, so I will do my best to make you guys uh, happy and I hope you would all enjoy the new decks that will be coming out soon. Um, if you have any suggestions about this deck or have any thoughts about them, please let me know in the comments, uh, feel free to, and I will definitely react to it. Um, if you notice, I made a little um, small change um, at the end of it, because I, I think the Great Catcher is really useful. Um, and I, I made somewhere else a, a change, but I forgot where. I think I, I put like one less um, fire energy for an extra of these Great Catchers. But I don't know for sure. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this, this video. And have a great day further left.